it's the internet you're busy let's do this i'm jeff grubb i write for gamesbeat.com this is tony hawk's pro skater one plus two hd on the nintendo switch i think that this game runs really well and i am very happy to be playing it on the switch uh i was i i don't know i think i was worried that it would be kind of a, a really lackluster port and i think the reality um is that it's actually a fantastic port in terms of the way it feels the way it looks and the way it plays um the, i guess that shouldn't be too surprising tony hawk's pro skater was always a great portable franchise um even on the game boy advance when we didn't have portable real 3d graphics uh they were still you know vicarious visions was still making incredible looking isometric skating games that would take the tony hawk uh, levels and really really recreate them uh, from a different perspective and it was uh, It was pretty magical to how, how well those games worked uh, Then on the DS when you got four face buttons and real 3d graphics I played a ton of American Skateland that was also a great franchise or a great game in this in the series um, It was just it, Tony Hawk's Pro Skater just always worked really well on handhelds and now that tradition is continuing. I'm, of course, I'm not playing on handheld mode right now, but I've played a ton of this on the Switch Lite, and it has been really good. It's been fantastic. I, I, I just, I couldn't stop playing it, and that's kind of exactly what I wanted. I've already played this game all the way through a couple times on PC and on console, and now I'm doing it again on a different console on the Switch. So... You know what what is like the state of this game like um you know what can you expect i think you're gonna expect a game that feels r a lot like tony hawk's pro skater it, it's um it feels right i think that comes down to a couple of things uh pr primarily i think that they are updating the game it feels like they are updating your inputs at 60 frames per second even if the game i think is running at 30 frames per second um and that is, you know, it's a solid 30, so it doesn't feel disorienting or anything like that. It feels, it feels, it feels like it looks right. And then your inputs all feel exactly how they should feel for a Tony Hawk game. And that's the feel was, is so important in these games. And it, it, to me, it feels right on point. It feels exactly what I wanted to do. I feel like I'm pulling off everything I want to be able to pull off. And, uh, that that is like the key to making this game feel uh, great, even though it is on less powerful hardware. Sorry, now I'm trying to get a high score. Um, there is there is an issue though, and you know what? Let's just let's just check it out. Let's just let's just see what it looks like. I haven't I haven't actually tried it on this level, so let's see what happens. Let's say we want to restart because we messed something up, and we went, we want to restart our two minute run uh, to really take advantage of having that full time to accomplish whatever goal we set out to do. Let's go ahead hit hit restart run and see one two three four five six seven yeah it is not an instant restart and that is um i don't think that's okay it, it's bad it's unacceptable tony hawk games should always have instant re reloads no matter what if you mess something up you should be able to instantly restart and get back into the level and just keep going and it should you, should, you shouldn't have to think twice about it it should just work and seven like i've had it's you know anywhere from five to eight seconds for reloads and that is that is unacceptable i remember i remember like really dinging tony ox pro skater five for having like three second reloads or something like that i think it, you know it was probably actually around eight seconds in some situations as well um now tony ox pro skater five didn't feel right it was like just a bad game and also, you, I was playing that on, like, an Xbox One or, or PlayStation 4 or something. Um, and that was... So, like, there, there were not really many excuses. It shouldn't have been a compromised experience, uh, you know, at that time. Um, here, I, here I am going to be a little bit more forgiving because this is a compromised experience. I am getting Tony Hawk's Pro Skater, like, 1 plus 2 HD, like, the real deal. I'm getting the real deal on a handheld, and it feels really good, and I'm really happy with it uh but that means that I, I have to accept that the game is just not going to um have those instant reloads that i want and that's going to be the compromise that i make here and that's disappointing for sure but i i am I'm, I'm almost like well 
I mean, it helps that I, I have the game somewhere else. So if I really, really, really want to get back into it, I can go play on the PC. And I guess if you are going to pick up this one version of the game, and this is going to be your version of the game, I would hesitate. I would hesitate and say, hey, listen, if you have the option to play it somewhere else, if you're going to get serious about Tony Hawk, which, you know, you should, you should get serious about Tony Hawk. Like, that's my position in life. More people should get serious about Tony Hawk. But the switch makes that a little bit more difficult and a, and a little bit more frustrating and so i don't i'm not going to blame anyone who doesn't want to uh who who's going to be like hey uh, an eight second reload in some situations is really going to damage my flow uh i i don't want to play it on the switch and i get that um but if you are like a kid or you're someone who only has a switch or you really 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 prioritize having something on in a handheld form like uh, format uh so that you could play it on the bus or something um i think that this is still a pretty good game this is a pretty good version of a really good game it's kind of what, what the reality is all right let me get that 200,000 score. I'm going to stop talking for a second. Let's get that 200,000 score, and I'll see if there's anything else to say. There we go. All right. Oh, I needed 250,000, not even 200,000. So I'm glad I got that cushion. That helped. All right, let's check out some of the other levels real quick, just so uh, you can get an idea. Let's go check out School 2. People recognize that. I haven't gotten the secret tape in a lot of these levels yet. I was trying to up my, my, my specs up my stats first for my character and then I'll go back and get a lot of these things. I'm just playing as uh, Tony Hawk because I'm basic and because uh, he's a beautiful man. You can also see that these initial loads are a little bit longer still. Uh, the initial loads aren't too bad though and really I, I'm i fine with them. It, I just wish the restart loads were a lot better and they're not. Um... I think the, the game does look a little bit, uh, you know, it looks rough. It looks simple um, compared to the real, like, HD games. But, again, I think I think get this game if it's something you want to play in handheld mode. That is that is my advice. Like, if you play, if you play Tony Hawk and you want to play primarily on your television screen, uh, you should not get the Switch version. That doesn't make any sense. Get get it for something else. Get it for the Xbox. Get it for PlayStation. Get it for PC. And then if you want a handheld... In handheld, this game looks great. It feels great. And it plays great. And the, the reloads are a problem. But honestly, uh, it's better than not being able to play the game at all. Because it's, like in you know, on a different system sitting in your home. Oh, I almost had it. I forget how to open the doors to the school. How do I do that? Look that up real quick. All right, so I unlocked the gym, and uh, that's going to do it for this video, I think. Let's just get these last few stat points. I, I spent a lot of time, like, practicing my vert game in this pool when I played this game a ton on the Dreamcast. Not even, well, not even my Dreamcast, my friend's Dreamcast in his basement. When we would do high score chases and stuff and try to see who could get the highest score. All right, I'm going to try to get a million points, and then we'll wrap this up. Get up, Tony. Nobody likes you. You're just an old man. I don't care if your knees are exploding. Get up, Tony. Get up, Tony, you filthy animal. I gotta stop trying to land the 900. That's my issue. 
Or maybe I need to start the run with it. Okay, here's what we're, here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna do 900, but we're gonna start with it. There we go. All right, now we just need 500,000 more points in the next 10 seconds. Easy. Son of a bitch. <laughs> okay, 500,000 is going to have to do it. Thanks, everybody, for watching. I appreciate it. Have a good one. Take care of yourself. Until next time, goodbye.